morning. I want to talk to you uh, a little more about anger, but I want to take it a bit of a different direction. And instead of, uh, we've kind of focused on both the internal a bit and the horizontal, uh, how it impacts other people. There'll be a little of that this morning, but let's just go to Genesis uh, 4, 5 through 8. Famous story, uh, Cain, of course, and Abel, and the Lord accepts Abel's offering, does not accept Cain's offering. And the uh, reason uh, are in the descriptors. Uh, the reason is in the descriptors. And it has to do with the fact that Cain's offering was germane. It was ordinary. Abel's was the fattest of the flock. The, the, it was the, the firstborn. It was this idea of the best in that way. And so it doesn't. It didn't have to do with the fact that uh, Abel's was a was a blood offering and Cain's wasn't. It was all about the heart and the intent within the offering. Well, the Lord rejected Cain, and instead of Cain being self-reflective, Cain feeling rejected, or at the very least sensing that what he had done did not satisfy the Lord. We pick up in verse 5 of Genesis 4. But for Cain and his offering, he had no regard. The Lord had no regard. So Cain was very angry. And his face fell. His disposition demonstrated his anger. And the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? In other words, you can respond to your disappointment in a different way than anger. And if you do not do well, he gives this description. Sin is crouching at the door. It's a picture almost like of a wild animal that's waiting around a, a door frame where you can't see and it's waiting just on the other side. And when you step out, it's going to ravage you. Sin is crouching at the door. It's desires for you, but you must rule over it. You can be either owned by your anger or you can own your anger by laying hold of it quickly. Well, you know the story. Cain spoke to Abel's brother, and when they were in a field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. That's Genesis 4, 5 through 8. See, when you feel angry, here's the question you need to ask yourself. Why am I hurt? Why am I hurt? And you may say, well, I'm, I'm not hurt. I'm angry. No, you're angry now because you were hurt before. Hurt that is untended to gives birth to anger. Anger, in a sense, is calcified hurt. And you, you now react. You assert. You come against. You uh, um, uh, come strong, as it were. Because you're on the defensive or maybe you're even pressing now to the offensive because at bottom, something threatened you. And what you have to do is take that thing, that disappointment, that feeling of rejection, that hurt to the Lord, and you gotta sort of take that emotional cup in you that fills with hurt and before anger gets on top of it and before then resentment and bitterness get on top of it and addiction gets on top of it, you gotta dump it out at the level of hurt. So when you're angry, what I want you to do is ask this question. Why am I hurt and how will I deal with it? Why am I hurt and how will I deal with it? May the Lord bless you as you deal with the propensity toward anger.